This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We're here at the Genesis Cinema, joined by Lauren Price. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a turbulent couple of uh, days for Boxer, but glad that Karish will be out on Saturday night and glad that there's a show still going ahead on Sky Sports. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, obviously once we had that news that uh, Huatsi and Aziz was off, um, we were just about to leave Sheffield head down, so wanted to make sure. But, you know, fair play to Boxer and Sky for pushing through and keeping the show on for all the undercard fighters, you know. Uh, obviously, they would have had a tough camp, and, yeah, I'm just over the moon that, you know, Karis gets to box on, on Saturday. Yeah, she, uh, her opponent said she's going to knock her out. I just heard with Karis. Uh, you see the work that goes on with Karis. That isn't going to happen, is it, Saturday night? No, most definitely not. Um, you know, Karis, she's an all-round fighter. She can box, she can fight. And uh, I see, you know, the work she puts in each day, being in camp with her. Um, she's had a great camp again. I've been sparring her, actually, as well, myself, and along with the other girls, you know, top sparring with, with the amateur team as well. So, yeah, she's ticked every box, as she always does every camp. And uh, I'm sure you'll see on Saturday a uh, very clinical um, top performance from her, and sh she ain't getting knocked down. She, if anything, the other girl's getting knocked out. Just a word on yourself. Um, obviously, last time out, just assessment of your performance taking time after to kind of watch that back. Yeah, um, you know, the girl I obviously faced, she had a good record. She 18 and 1, so yeah, it was a good performance from my end. Um, I knew she was tough, I knew she was game, but yeah, one obviously every round on the scorecards, you know, we got stopped with an egg clash, but yeah, good six rounds. And uh, I look to move on now, hopefully get back out in December, um, pushing for them big fights and, uh, yeah, ready to go. How tough is it to kind of bridge the gap from where you are now? You've got that British to the big names. So it still isn't got the most depth, has it, those in, the, in your division? No, I wouldn't say so. And f obviously, like, for myself, yeah. um, you know, I believe, obviously, I'm up there with you know, the top girls who have got them world titles. Um, at the minute, I'm actually ranked number four. Everyone above me, obviously, you got Tash, uh, Sandy and Jess McCaskill. So, you know, ideally, I'd love, you know, to fight for a world title next. But on the, re well, on, on the basis of that, I don't think that's going to happen. But, um, you know, I, I'd like to fight for some sort of title by the end of the year, you know, another 10 rounder and keep moving, you know, until I get into that position. What did you make of Sandy's decision out in Orlando? So I'll be honest with you, I haven't watched about yet, but knowing Sandy, um, you know, great boxer, I would have thought, you know, she should have got the win, obviously looking at all the other, you know, comments and, I don't know, on social media and stuff like that, saying that, you know, being a draw and obviously being away and stuff like that, I thought that maybe obviously she would, she was, uh, would have been a little bit unlucky. Um, just obviously knowing Sandy as well, I thought, you know, she, she's a better boxer. Uh, I thought she would have, you know, obviously got the win. Do you think we'll ever see that fight between you and Sandy? Maybe, who knows, I suppose, whoever, you know. I like Sandy she, going back in the day, obviously, like, we were good friends, you know, on GB and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it's boxing, and uh, I suppose if you won world titles, then you've got to just face whoever got them and who's put in front of you. Said you want to be out in December. I think there's rumours of a show December 16th, just before Christmas. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would, yeah. Um, yeah, hopefully out in December. i got to speak to John now and Ben and obviously just get a date. And, uh, yeah, it'd be good to get one in before Christmas. Last one. Will 2024 be the year where Lauren Price is crowned world champion? Hopefully so. And the next thing on my list is uh, boxing in Wales. So that's the next big one, um, you know coming home, having my home coming and boxing in front of the Welsh fans. Thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.